Hi, boys and girls, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at word problems. I know word problems seem scary, but I'm gonna give you a tool to help you make more sense out of them. So today we're gonna to be focusing on solving addition or subtraction problems. And we're gonna be using a tool called a bar model. So many times when students see a word problem, they get confused immediately. A lot of times, instead of determining what the problem is asking, they either assume they should add or subtract just based on whatever they're currently learning in class. However, using a bar model is going to help break down the problem so that you can better understand what is being asked. So when we use a bar model to solve addition or subtraction problems, the total is going to go on the top full bar. Then the parts that make up the whole will go in the bottom row. You'll see an example of that in just a moment. But the main thing that you need to know is that if you're missing a total, then you will need to add your two parts that are underneath. If you're missing a part, then you're going to need to subtract the part that you have from your total. And voila, it just made solving an addition or subtraction bar, um, word problem that much easier. So let's look at some examples. Here's our first example. Mrs. Smith is saving up for a summer vacation. So far, she has saved $2,753. She will need to have $7,550 for the trip. How much money does she still need to save? So I'm looking over this and I see that we have a total that she needs and a part that she's made so far. So now let's see what we need to do. Let's start with our total. And remember, I told you the total is going to go in a bar. So we're going to draw a rectangle at the very top and we'll write our total, which was 7,550. Underneath that, we're going to have our part that she saved. So I'm going to make a box right underneath my total and I'm going to say that she saved $2,753. To the right of that, I see that she needs. So we have the money she saved, the money she needs, and that together will make our total. But we don't know how much she still needs. So that's what our question mark lies of what we need to do. So remember just a minute ago, I told you if we have a total and we have one part, we're going to need to subtract to find the difference. So let's look at our problem. We're going to work this problem out together. If I have 0 minus 3, I cannot subtract 0 minus 3, so I have to regroup. I'm going to go next door and borrow 10 more. So my 5 becomes a 4 and my 0 becomes a 10. Now I can subtract 10 minus 3 is 7. Moving to my tens, I have four minus five. Once again, I cannot do that, so I need to go next door and regroup. My five becomes a four, and my four in the tens place is gonna become a 14. So now I have 14 minus five. 14 minus five is nine. Moving over into my hundreds place, I have four minus seven. Again, I can't do that, so my seven needs to become a six, and my four will become a 14. Now I can subtract 14 minus 7 is 7, and 6 minus 2 is 4. So my total would be $4,797. So that tells me that Mrs. Smith still needs to save $4,797. And it answers my question, how much money does she still need to save? So that was an example of how you could solve a subtraction problem using a bar model. Let's look at an additional example. Mrs. Smith got a job at Starbucks and made $2,654. She also helped tutor students after school and made $3,725. How much money did Mrs. Smith earn all together? Remember, she's trying to go on that trip, but did it bring up anything about her total that she needs? No, this time we need to know what her total is. So we're still going to start with our total up top, but instead of having a number in our total, that's going to be our question. Then we know she earned money at Starbucks, so we're going to include our money. She earned $2,654 at Starbucks, and she earned money from tutoring, which was a total of $3,725. So now we have her two parts, her two groups, and we have to find her total. So we're going to add the two groups together to get our total. 
So working those problems out, we have starting in the ones place, 5 plus 4 is 9. 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 plus 6 is 13. So we're going to have to put our 3 and then carry our 1. And 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 1 more is 6. So Mrs. Smith has earned a total of $6,379. So again, if we have our two parts and we're looking for our total, we want to add those together. So hopefully you can see that using a bar model to solve addition or subtraction problems, knowing that the total will go on the top of the full bar and the parts make up the whole of the bottom, hopefully that helped you really understand and work through those word problems a little bit more simply. Remember, there's two things to remember. If you're missing a total, you add. If you're missing a part, then you subtract. I hope that was helpful. If you found this helpful and uh, want to learn more lessons from me, please subscribe to my channel at mathmaniac fourth grade math and click below if you found this helpful. Thanks. Have a great day.